the leader of Western Sahara's independence movement, whose presence in Spain has angered the Moroccan government, will appear via video before a Spanish court today. He'll be there to answer allegations of torture and genocide. Brahim Khali's treatment for COVID-19 at a hospital in Spain has soured relations between Madrid and Rabat. Khali heads the Polisario Front, a group which is based in southern Algeria and fights for independence of the Western Sahara, which Morocco annexed in the 1970s. With Khali considered a war criminal by Rabat, the Moroccan government last week decided to turn a blind eye at its shared border with the Spanish enclave of Ceuta and allowed thousands of immigrants access to the Spanish territory, much to the anger of Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez. It's unacceptable for a government to say that it is attacking the borders, that it is opening the borders so that 10,000 immigrants can enter a Spanish city, such as Teuta, in less than 48 hours because of disagreements and differences, discrepancies in foreign policy. Madrid agreed to treat Hali as a favor to Algeria, its main supplier of natural gas, according to Spanish newspaper El País. There are a series of Sahrawi and uh, Spanish nationals, apparently also, or some accuse them of having the support of Morocco, uh, claiming that he is responsible for murder, uh, uh, violations, and rapes, and all sorts of, of accusations. This is being uh, scrutinized now by the Spanish court, and we shall know in the next uh, days what's the decision of the Spanish judge. And, and how is this decision to take him to court in Spain likely to be received in Morocco? Well, probably it's better that it is under court that, uh, that he could uh, not be brought to justice. Yet, uh, although Morocco seems to already have an idea of what the decision of the judge should be, we don't know. So, obviously, the Spanish justice is independent, and we shall see what the judge thinks, uh, whether the court should be pursued or, or not. And then, obviously, if the decision of the Spanish justice is not in line with what Morocco expects, most likely we shall have a new round of this diplomatic escalation. At the same time, yesterday, Morocco announced that it was not about Gali only. So even if the solution to this judicial crisis was to be satisfactory for Morocco, that's not enough uh, for the Moroccan claims vis-à-vis -vis the Polisario and vis-à-vis -vis the Spanish policy towards the Western Sahara. You, you spoke about diplomatic tensions. Where do relations between the two countries uh, stand today? Ha, it depends who you ask. Uh, so uh, if you ask Madrid, Morocco is still a strategic partner a country with whom uh, Spain expects to have the highest level of bilateral cooperation possible, and Spain claims to be Morocco's better advocate in the EU decisions regarding EU-Morocco uh, relations. If you ask uh, Rabat, they will tell you that this strategic partnership is broken, uh, that uh, trust has gone, and that unless uh, Spain changes uh, significantly, its policies towards the Western Sahara, uh, the ties won't be mended. So here we are again in this asymmetry, which is an asymmetry of positions, also an asymmetry when it comes to the rhetoric on how they describe this crisis.